Hey you guys, um, I'm back with a new video. Yes, I got new hair and it's too long for me. I can't even handle it. Anywho, um, I miss y'all. What y'all been up to? Well, I still been using my homemade deodorant and I'm just gonna tell you some things that's been going on since I've been using it. This is the first time I noticed it, but I'm pretty sure it's been happening a lot. It's like I create this dark outer layer around my underarm, like right under here. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is burning my skin. It has to be the baking soda that's burning my skin. So I basically stopped using deodorant for a day, just wiped it with some witch hazel um, and just did that to let it relax. And it literally went away. So you might can see a little bit of dark, but it's majority gone. Um, and that's a good thing, but did my research. That's kind of what happens when dealing with homemade baking soda um, mixed with coconut oil as a deodorant because your body is going through chemical changes. So your skin tone may change and things like that because it's pulling all of that from out of your pores, all those things that was stuffed in there to get it out. Um, so that is one downfall because if you are lighter skin, it might be more noticeable. It wasn't that noticeable for me because as you can see, I'm a little dark, um, but that's okay. <laughs> I love the skin I'm in, but um, I just wanted to let you guys know that. So far, so good, no must. I've been smelling nice and fresh. Um, so that's all I really wanted to tell you guys about my deodorant journey, and I'm gonna continue to do that. And I want you guys to continue to do it and tell everybody you know so that they can try it too so that we can stop using all these chemicals in our body. You know what I'm saying? My name is Sierra and this is See Me For Me and thanks for watching my channel. Stay tuned for more videos. Bye!